Hey everybody, happy Monday. Today I wanted to talk about something that I feel like nobody's really talking about, which is why holidays can suck for some of us. Now I know there's many of us out there who love the holidays and we have a wonderful time with our friends and family and that's awesome. You consider yourself very lucky because I know there are a lot of us who don't enjoy the holidays and some who've messaged me and left comments saying that they dread it and this is a super stressful or anxiety provoking time. And I think there are many reasons why the holidays can suck. The first being we have to spend time with people that we probably don't normally spend time with. It can feel like sometimes our family doesn't even know us anymore, maybe because we don't really like them. And then there's that pressure to feel like we have to see them and we have to spend time even though we really don't want to. And so that can make holidays super stressful slash terrible because spending a lot of time with people that we don't really like kind of sucks. And kind of with that, like an add on is that there's pressure to see people maybe that we've cut out of our lives, right? Like if we go to a huge family gathering, we can't really say like, hey, if that aunt or cousin or uncle or whomever is gonna be there, I don't wanna go, I can't be there. Our mom or sister or brother, whomever might get upset with us and be like, hey, you need to come, just get over it. So we might feel pressure to see people we've cut off, people who maybe ab were abusive in the past, whether it was emotional, physical, or sexual abuse. Oftentimes families just try to like stuff that down or we forgive them, you should forgive them too. Not to mention that the whole holiday season is all about putting pressure on us to spend money, whether it's from people in our lives being like, hey, do you wanna exchange gifts this year? I really wanna exchange gifts. And if we're struggling financially, that can feel really overwhelming. Also, if people just wanna go out to dinner with us a lot, it can be hard because each time it's gonna cost us some extra money. And so that can be adding stress onto all the other scenarios I already discussed. And also something that Sean and I experience is that travel can be super stressful. I don't mind traveling in general, even just, I guess a regular day of travel isn't really stressful, but it's kind of tiring. But when it's the holidays, oh my God, it's like times a hundred, like everybody who never travels all year is traveling on those days and it can be really, really stressful, not to mention also very expensive. And then for a lot of people going back to our hometowns, like I moved away, I grew up in a really small town, it can be kind of hard too. I've heard from many of you that when you go back home, you feel kind of judged. Like, how come you're not married? How come you don't have kids? And you're like, uh, cause I'm 26. And that's just not my lifestyle. And kudos to whoever is doing whatever. I'm not judging one lifestyle versus another. I'm just saying that for those of us who've moved away, going back home can, can sometimes be difficult and people are in different times in their life. We're making different choices that maybe we're not making. And each of us should feel free to make the choices that are best for us without any judgment. And the final reason why holidays can really suck is that social media and other things online or on TV can try to portray the holidays as being like this happy, perfect time, right? Everything you watch, every like commercial, everybody's all happy together. Oh, yay. So lovey dovey. Mm. And that can make it feel even more terrible. It can be really invalidating to our experience and one, make us wonder again and again why our family's not like that. Like, why can't we all get along? Why does my dad have to be such an asshole or whatever? And so I think that that kind of compounds the pressure and this feeling of like, why is my life not living up? Which if you don't know, one of my favorite quotes is, comparison is the thief of joy. So I encourage you this holiday season to look at the things that you have, focus on the things you're excited about and put all of your attention there and try to, as much as possible, not pay attention to all of the garbage. And that's why I kind of want to end with some things that we can do to make the holidays not suck quite so bad. And my first thing is we don't really have to see people we don't want to. I know a lot of us feel like we have to, and it's like, oh, it's so expected. Uh, -uh you're an adult. You can make your own decisions. I don't want to go. I can't. Sorry, not sorry. I'm not going to be there. Or, you know, it's just really expensive to travel, so I'm not gonna be able to do it this year. You know, I'll catch you guys next year. And then you call on the day and you're like, Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or Happy Thanksgiving, whatever. And then you're just, bye-bye. And you go do your own thing. And with that, I think it's really important that we can focus on like our chosen family, right? We don't get to choose who our family is, but we do get to choose our friends and we can spend time with friends and people in our lives who really feel good to us, who are validating and judgment-free and just wonderful. And that's a really cool thing. And kind of that rolls into my third tip, which is I give you complete permission to do whatever you want or 
Give yourself the permission, even better, but I do not give you permission to isolate. Doing what we want and spending time with who we care about doesn't mean that we can't see anyone. I don't want any of you to take this video as a way to be like, oh, that's awesome, I'll just say no to everything and stay at home for two weeks. No, 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 I don't think that's healthy for us either. I think that can lead to like more depressive or anxious thoughts. So find your chosen family and spend some time with them and I give you full permission to say no to the people or things you just don't wanna see or do. My fourth tip is talk to your friends and family about the whole gift situation. Maybe tell them money's a little tight and you would like to not do gifts and in lieu of doing gifts, you'd rather just get together and spend time. Maybe you put together like a little potluck dinner party at your house so you can manage how much you're gonna spend and have everybody come over at once. Boom, you're done. It's perfect. It can make it super cheap and reasonable for you. And I also have a ton of videos about holiday, like surviving the holidays. I'll link that playlist in the description so that you can, you know, filter through that and see what fits you and kind of meets the needs of what you have this holiday season. And finally, boundaries. Please communicate to your friends and family, especially if it's like already hard for you to be there, how long you're gonna stay, when you can come, when you have to go, where you can meet them. It's okay to set up some kind of boundaries around the time that you spend with people who may be super taxing to you. Maybe your mom vents to you about your dad and you were so glad to get out of the situation and move away, but now in the holidays she does it again and you're like, how do I get out of this? It's okay to just say, I'm so excited to see you, mom. I just, I have another party after so I can come around like two or three, but I have to leave at five. That's fair, but we have to let them know and it's okay to set those up and it's honestly best if we start thinking about those now so that we prepare ourselves ahead of time. We can practice saying it out loud, we can decide what's okay and maybe talk about it in therapy. It gives us some time leading up to prepare for you know, Christmas, Hanukkah and all the holiday things that are coming up so we know how long we're gonna stay and what we're okay doing and what we're not okay doing. And I hope you found this helpful. The holidays can really suck and I don't think enough people are talking about it. I think there's all this pressure just to make it perfect and pretend that everything's okay when we know that's not always the case. Just know that you're part of a larger community of people who are supporting each other and if you need it, we have a Facebook group. Um, like I said, you can go to the comments. People are on Twitter. We have a lot of support in our community. Use it if you need it. We'll get through the holiday season together and I hope that this kind of validated maybe how you've been feeling. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.